whose titles run the Bangalore school and its management, the school's PRO has now blamed the six-year-old child, uh, child's parents, I beg your pardon, in a desperate face-saving attempt. The elite school's public relations officer has said that a child's parent had appointed a shadow teacher who hasn't been questioned so far. He also alleges that the child is differently able. We are not saying that because the child is differently abled that there is any problem. All we are trying to show is that because she is differently abled, as part of the school policy, a shadow teacher who is supposed to accompany the child every moment of the day, attend her classes, take her to SPA, take her to the urinal, take her for lunch, fully in the service of the child, appointed by the parents, is there with her and that person has not even been questioned. So we are not saying because she's, I mean, no, whether special needs or whether small or big, nobody's, nobody, that, that, that nobody can be raped. Nobody, no, no violence can be afflicted upon anybody. This has got nothing to do because of it being that there was the shadow teacher. Nobody seems to be questioning that shadow teacher. That is, that was our only question. The truth of the matter is that the child has got is a special needs child. Uh, she suffers from an affliction called ADHD. Uh, this is a recorded thing and we are, please understand, don't penalize us for the good that we are doing. We are one of the few schools in the country that actually believes in inclusive education. We allow these differently abled children to come and study in the school. We provide them with the opportunity of education which other schools deprive them of because our belief is that just because the child is born with a defect, we should not be depriving her of the opportunity of be better education.